Welcome all you plus two comedy modifiers back to Solving the Witness, a laid back annotated let's play where we try to uncover the secrets in Jonathan Blow's The Witness. Cranky editor Noah here jumping in in the opening because I've already tried to record this three times. I also wanted to just be honest here. This is a cleanup episode. Basically, I'm going to go around and do some environmental puzzles before I head up to the mountain. So... If I'm being completely honest, this episode would be best described as skippable. I won't be doing any puzzles this episode. I won't be doing any panels, that, I mean. I won't be doing any audio clips. There's not a lot of philosophy in this one. Uh, it's just environmental puzzles. It's some of the hardest environmental puzzles, so if you're here for the struggle, then by all means, stick around. But I just wanted to let you guys know up front, because I value your time. Where have I heard that before? Welcome all you plus two comedy modifiers back to the stream. Welcome back to Solving the Witness. My ring light always points out how dirty my glasses are. Uh, this is a laid back annotated let's play where we try to discover the deep underlying secrets behind the witness. It's been quite some time since I've played The Witness, so uh, I'll be nice and rusty. But we're near the end of uh, the outdoor part of this game. And uh, right now I'm at 386 panels plus 80. And uh, what we've been doing as an experiment is every day I play, I come in here and I turn on the windmill. Because I still don't know what the other way that turns off the windmill does. So we turn on the windmill, we let it run for a bit, and then we come back and we turn it off, and we see if it makes a clicky noise. And that's... It's one of those things where you just do the same thing over and over again and see if you get different results. What would that, what's that called? Anyway, I believe... Uh... We're trying to get the town laser going, and I'm stuck somewhere. Uh, is it here? This is the last thing I need to do. Did I get the town laser going? Maybe that was the last thing I did, was I almost got the town laser going. This is a weird building. I, I think I mentioned this last time, but like, this looks like it's a sorting machine. Like. Gravel is dropped through here and then is sorted down there. But I don't know where you'd be getting, like, large enough piles of rocks to even do that. Because they're then sorted and they go here. And this building, I mean, it's incomplete, so we don't know. Uh, let me run up there. Maybe I, maybe I did do this. I forget. Like I said, it has been quite a while. This is so dangerous. There's not even a railing here. Someone can fall and get hurt. Oh, it is on. Okay, so I have been up here. Looks like it says something there. C, I, H. I don't know what that would be, but just the thing I noticed. All right, so I guess we were fully on cleanup mode, and we were going to try to get as many of the environmental goodness. Because I know I have not opened the door to the treehouse. That's a thing we got to do. Uh, and there's... Tons of environmental puzzles left to be done. Uh, let's uh, let's check out the lake. The lake, as I always explain, is a map. Let's see if there's a place we should clearly go. Okay, apparently I'm missing an audio log somewhere on like near the ending coast. I'm missing a bunch here in the middle. I mean, some of these are in the mountain that we've. We still need to do? That's over there. That's all the mountain stuff that has to be done. Um, yeah, it looks like I'm missing a bunch of stuff right here. I'm trying to figure out what laser that represents. Because... Let's 
look. Over there's the boat. So the boat's dead ahead. Looks like I missed two orange uh, audios, like right over by maybe symmetry, and then this is the coast. I think I think I might actually just have to run in a straight line that way, and I should then get uh, this missing panel and that audio clip. Um, just look if there's a reflection thing here. No, it doesn't look like there is. Right, so we're going to run to the coast, because I know that there's something I'm supposed to open over here that I may not have opened. Double check that out. Like I said, today's stream's about like cleanup. So we might head to the mountain today, we might not. I did open this. Okay, so I can I'm gonna have to get on the boat and do a few of the boat uh, puzzles. So maybe that's where I will make my way. Um but I'm gonna stay on the coast here and just kind of double check here. Because this, this area, this kind of like dead area, there's not a lot to it. Like, this is just a dead end. Like, this is one of the strangest areas of, uh, of the island. Because there's not a lot of life growing here. It's not the desert, but like... It's very different than like the fall area, because the trees look less healthy here. This is a path. I don't know if I've walked this path. Is this what I was looking for? No? I don't even see I think I can see the... No, I can't even see the... environmental that's here yet. Um, looking at the reflection of the water, because sometimes that makes stuff. This kind of looks like... Do you see, like, It's face right here? Like, this is the chin of It. And then that's his, like, smiley face, and there's his nose and his eyes. I do kind of see it. It kind of looks like It. It kind of looks like It. The clown. It looks like Pennywise, is what I'm trying to say. However, it kind of looks like new Pennywise. It doesn't look like Tim Curry Pennywise. And this game came out way before the new It came out. So it's probably not anything. Kind of It looking. That kind, that kind of looks like an arrow or a tree. Yeah, I see it. It does kind of look like an arrow. I don't really think this is anything. It's a very simple geometric shape. It's only seven sides, so it would, like, occur naturally. I will say that, as will be discovered in this Let's Play in a moment, that is the correct direction to go if you're looking for environmental puzzles. If you go the other way, you can't get them. So it is possible that this is a hint that this is the way to drive the boat. I think it's a bit of a stretch, but it is pretty good looking arrow, and I've just assigned it some clear and useful meaning, so maybe. That's interesting. Alright, just looking around. Look at the water. Alright. It's been a while since I've played this game, clearly. And uh, I'm trying to kind of do this, like, guideless. Because I know all the important key information. I don't remember, like, every puzzle. We've been here. We've looked at the guy reaching for the grail slash having the grail. So, there's just a few things I want to break down here. I've really driven the holy grail into the ground at this point with my theory. So, I'm, I'm going to avoid that. I'm going to talk about two other things really quickly. One is trophy cases. There's like three trophy cases that are empty in this room. And I think that's very interesting because it would imply that something goes in them. That something of importance was in these things and now... It's gone. Something of value has been taken. Something that would have been displayed 
is now gone. I say trophy cases, but what I really mean is display case. So it does make me wonder what this building was and what was being displayed and why is it now missing? Another small thing I want to talk about that I think is kind of interesting is we've talked about hexagons a lot. There's a lot of hexagons on the island. We talked about six sides equal the six principles of the witness and the kind of honeycomb shape. But I also want to bring up this new theory. What if they wanted this to be a round building, but you can't create perfect circles without also creating an environmental puzzle? And we've talked about this idea that the environmental puzzles all occur naturally, meaning that they just kind of happen. Like you can't or shouldn't build one. It's just the nature of the island to take the things that man has created and that nature has grown and form one of these environmental puzzles. Uh, this brings me to uh, a Norse belief. I believe it's Norse that you should never strive for perfection because to be perfect is to imitate God. Uh, I know a few people who actually have imperfect tattoos because if it was perfect, it would be an insult to God and blasphemous. So I kind of really like this idea of not building anything with circles because circles are kind of this powerful thing that belong to this idea of the environmental puzzles. Just a, a theory that I'm throwing out there, why they wouldn't try to manufacture an environmental puzzle and let nature and perspective kind of form them naturally. I think I picked up an audio clip here. All right, we're making our way. Just trying to do a big sweep here, just Really get every nook and cranny. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought that was an audio clip. But it looks like it's just a, it's just a drink. Fold it. It's like... What would someone... Why would someone even lay here? Like, I get... It's, I mean, it's right in the sun, so I guess it's a good tanning spot. This is a big thing I've been trying to do, is try to, like... If there's a seat somewhere... Did you see that? There was like a weird flash, like, right here. So I did find it. It looks like just for a frame. I'm surprised I even caught it while it was playing. It looks like the mountain deloads and reloads. So I pulled the clip, and it's playing very annoyingly right now. That's all that happened. That might have just been a glitch, but that was weird. Editor now is going to look into that and see what that was. Um, this is implying that stuff's washed up on the beach. That's interesting. But I'm laying right here. This is so this is that lookout point that I was talking about a couple episodes ago. Last episode, not a couple. Last episode I was talking about how there are actually four, as corrected, uh, there are four lookout points here on the island. That's what I'm referring to, these weird kind of places to sit and relax. There's the one by the shipwreck. There's the one in Symmetry Island that I kind of forgot about. There's the one on top of the building in the starting area. And then there's this one. And I said that perhaps this one is there to look at the star, because there is one star that's like oddly in the distance that you can see. But you actually cannot see it from this point of view. So... Why is this here? Now, a lot of people in the comments told me that the reason that the one by the shipwreck exists is to kind of make you see an environmental puzzle that exists, one of the hardest ones to get in the game, in my opinion. And that's a great theory, but if that is the case, then why is this one here? Because there's literally nothing interesting to be seen. It really looks like it's just a good place to get a tan kind of what I'm seeing. I guess I'm just getting a tan because I'm directly beneath the sun, but there's nothing visually interesting except the fact that you can see, like, the very top of the buoy there. Listen to all those different footstep sound effects. It's very exciting when you hear anyone. 
beach. See, like, we left that weird brown area there. There's not a single puzzle there. It's a very weird location. Uh, we should probably talk about, like, the significance of the grail and stuff like that. Makeshift dock so I can get on the boat. Because there's a couple puzzles we need to do. Bob, this here boat. What's up, people? Chat's up if you guys want to chat. All right. So, I always rush this, and I know I shouldn't, so I'm trying to. Take my time with this. Uh, I actually want to go wide, I think. I think wide lets me see the thing I want to see. And then we got to go around the castle. Let's, um, let's do this. All right, I'm going to try to be patient. I'm going to slow the boat down once we get closer to the castle and the keep and stuff. Or not the keep. Um, what is that beginning area called? The castle? Yeah, once we get closer to the castle. So I know there's a few puzzles that you need to actually be in motion on the boat to complete. Moving right along. Alright, we gotta slow down a smidge here. Or a lot, actually. Because I want to be able to get the orange one that's coming up on the right here. I also think that there's one going the other direction with the boat. I could be wrong. Turn this around if need be. So, patience, 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 patience. Kind of just taking a look. This this gray area is so dark brown. Area. It's so confusing to me. I think I actually might be too far away. So there's this. But that's not the one I'm aiming to get right now. Trying to, I, I think I'm too far away. I'm actually going to do this one. Look, look the other way. No, I don't think I can see the orange one. Let's let's just do the. Maybe. Come on. I want to get this orange one here. I open the door. I open the door. Come on. No, it doesn't look like I'm actually... Yeah, I'm at the wrong angle. Let's do this one. What a bummer. Oh, I already freaking missed it. All right, we got to back up. Can we back up, please? freaking missed it. Hold on, before I do this, let me just double check. This needs to go this way and then up here, but I broke that line. Damn it! And there's also this one. Can I do it with this one yet? No, this one's... Ah. So we gotta back it up and then we'll do those ones again. 
Oh, the boat. Okay. Back it up, please. Whoa. Actually, hold up. I think I can do... I will do... Oh, come on. No. this and then that'll bring it up okay this way we can get the orange thing I believe we've got this one already I think we got that one already so I have to do this twice this takes so freaking long it's the problem Go up around this way and then probably connect more. This is probably, yeah, it's probably the whole friggin' castle. One need this way too. Whoa. here too because that that kind of looked like a line for a second there there's the thing that I said looks like an arrow what's out there why would there be an arrow there it's very arrow like or maybe it's one of those like um trees that smell good you know? Here's what I believe I said was the it face. Kind of looks like a cyclops. It's fun. We're going to slow the boat down a little. Because I'm, I'm trying to get this one. I don't know what angle I have to be at to get this. Yeah, I already got that one. Good. I'm guessing I have to be at an extreme angle so I can catch the orange, right? Oh my god, is there going to be two of these? Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Well, can I... Have to be looking at it the other way. You gotta be kidding me. Come on. Uh. I know I opened the thing that lets me do this. in the joystick the most that I can. Come on, it's right there. It's right there. Just let it go. Just get it past that line. Just give it that sweet orange. What? Do I have to be going the other direction or something? I'm going to lose visual with it. Maybe when I'm going the other way, it, it, it completes. And I can't do anything right now. Oh no, here comes the tree to ruin everything. 
This tree is the death of this environmental puzzle. No. Direction's important. Oh, what a bummer. Alright. And I think I'm gonna have to do it again from so I can get the reflection of it. So I think there's two annoying ones. There's many annoying ones. I think this is a double one. The reflection there kind of looks like Mother Brain. <laughs> it does kind of look like Mother Brain if you look at it, but I think I might be thinking of Mother Brain only having one eye because I only see this side of the sprite. I think Mother Brain actually has two eyes. I might be thinking of, what is it called, a Beholder from Doom? It does kind of look like that. One, link it. What? Come on. Almost missed it. And I'm just gonna back it up immediately. Yeah, yeah. As I turn here, the orange like container. Yep. Yeah. Just move one. It's gonna move another. I get there. Keep turning. Keep turning. All right. Great. Let's go back and do the reflection. Max speed. The the weird like the question of this becomes like is it worth doing? That's the big question of this whole game. It's kind of like, yeah, it's there to be done. Is it worth doing? Is this how you should be spending your time? It's a tough question. I'm going to go this way. This is a great question. Why do this? And this is the thing that we've talked about before in that the idea of it being dangerous to do it when you're on the boat, that is doing these environmental puzzles. And I'm gonna break kayfabe a little bit here. Uh, I know more about what happens in this game than I let on. Uh, I kind of do this weird thing where I'm coming from this expert point of view and analyzing, analyzing, great word, analyzing this, but also kind of coming at it from like a first time let's player perspective. I do that because I know that a lot of people watching this are big fans of this game that have tread through every inch of this game and are kind of coming to have a discussion. And then there are also people that I know that watch this, that this is their first experience with The Witness. They're experiencing it through this let's play because they don't have intention on playing it and just enjoy me talking to them for an hour or so. So I do want to say that the idea of, is this worth it? I know to an extent what's going to happen when I find all the environmental puzzles, but from what I understand, it's not really a thing. Like, it's not like a major payoff is coming. And at the time that you're doing this, you definitely don't know why you're doing it. It's just kind of a thing to be done. So the idea of, is this worth doing, I think kind of depends on you as a person. Uh, I'm not sure if I've said this theory before, but I want to say it now, that in an interview or possibly even the description on Steam, Jonathan Blow describes The Witness as a game that respects your time, that you're not going to waste your time. I personally believe what that means is you don't have to do something you don't want to do. I'm about to struggle on these environmental puzzles for a while. And to the average person, this is probably not worth doing 
it's cool and satisfying to find them, but the actual time it takes to do all these things, it's a pain and it's annoying. And yet here I go doing it. And it is worth it to me because it makes me create this content and have talks with you. So it really is a game that makes you reflect on your personal relationship with video games and what is worth your time. Yeah, So I want to look at the reflection. Oh, yeah. It bothers me so much that there's no puzzles in that one area. It's like it's not done. The only thing that there is the Holy Grail, which, like, I think says a lot. Oh my god, did I miss it? Oh my god, oh my god. I freaking missed it. God damn it. Yo, turn around. I'm gonna keep looking at it just to see if, like, there's the chance that this is not one. Oh my, the, the wake of the boat is actually making it impossible. Alright, stop again. Go back around. Alright. Mother brain. No, don't look at that. No, so look at that. Is it not one? It really seems like it should be. But perhaps it isn't. We were bummed out. Hey! Look at this funny fellow. I don't know how I missed it, but that's clearly a face. He's got, like, tree eyes and then, like, either tree hair or possibly horns. Perhaps he's, like, a devil. But that is the most face-looking face that we've come across. And I don't even mention it while I'm playing it. But look at that face. Look at it. I'm going to have to do this again later. I kind of looks like a person. It looks like an Oscar statue. I do kind of see the Oscar statue here, if you would like really kind of squint and look at it. I, I can kind of see it. What is happening here, by the way, is called uh, pareidolia. This is the fact that we always see faces and things. We just are naturally conditioned to see faces. Faces are pretty much the first shape we see when we're born. Unless, you know, we were born in an alleyway some way. The first thing that we will see is the face of our mom or a doctor or something like that. So we are conditioned to see faces in everything. It's interesting with this game because there are environmental puzzles and there are ones that are designed to be seen. But even if that wasn't true, we would probably still see faces in these rocks, even if it was not intended, because that's how our brains work. An Oscar statue right there. This one I know I have to do twice, so just get this through. Just me constantly seeing things in these rocks. There it is. Boom. I've never heard that noise before. Like it, it got angry with me. Like I was breaking it. I have to 
go down? How do I go down? So it looks like it connects here. Like that's clearly the end of it. Uh oh. Maybe that's the end of the reflection one or something? I don't know. Hopefully this connects at some point. There we go, connect. There it is. Alrighty. Cool. Now we get to do now? Go back. We have to do that all again with the reflection of it. That looks like a cave. This boat, at top speed, moves pretty damn quick. I don't understand how I make that connection, because that's clearly the end of one. But maybe it's the end of the, yeah, I think it's the end of the reflection. I think that's how this is going. I'm going back here again. There it is. Grab the reflection of this one. But we're going to try one more time for the orange, because I feel like it should be one. The fact that it isn't just baffles me. And I know this is an old game. Uh, relatively, like... Like, I know a lot of people have spent a lot of time sinking into this, so it seems strange that I'm, like, here looking for new stuff. But, uh... Lest we forget Donkey Kong 64. Uh, that game was out for quite some time, and they just found, like, a new coin, like, years later. Like, there was just this one area of grass that you had to ground pound. And if you did so... Oh my god, that's so perfect right now. The fact that that doesn't work is so frustrating. And like, there's, you can see the like orange kind of moving over it. Maybe it doesn't work because of, of this. Because then it goes under the water. So maybe it's like, an, it legitimately is impossible. Which is why it's not lighting up. Alright, I gotta grab the one that's under the water. That looks like half a moon. It looks like the moon there. Tell me what you see in these rocks. Do you see faces? I'm just kind of looking at them from a different angle. Or science. I'm not going to go around too much, though. The last thing I'm going to do is miss this thing. Oosh. Get fixed. I'll get fixed right here. Ready and it's not making like the angry noise that it made last time I did this. Like when, like right here when I was pressing it against it and like the world was pressing against it perspective-wise, it's going like. <laughs> it's not doing that this time. It's getting all mad. Oh, whoa! And that's where it connects right here. It's the, like this 100% the ending there. Um, because this rock would make it so you can't do the thing. I don't know why it got stuck though. <coughs> Excuse 
excuse me. Um, I almost made it. Like, I don't know why it stopped working. Ugh. This is not what I expected the stream to be, but, you know. This is what the house cleaning part is about. Hi, chat. Chat's up. You want to say hi? Tell me your theories about this game. Oh, I'm so frustrated. Looks like there's a green one in there, and I keep, like, zooming past it instead of, like, really studying it. Okay, we're good. Nope. No turn, quick. Get it. No. Going down, going up. Alright. God, this one's a pain. So then there's this, like, scary moment here. The bush kind of got to fight with this bush underwater. Then it connects, and we have the wall to kind of fall out of the way. Connects, slide down here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Connect. I need this to connect. What is happening? Why am I not? I'm gonna run out of time here. No! No! I did worse than I did the last time. This is so frustrating. Underway. Okay. And then I guess if I try this, if this doesn't work again, I guess I'll have to like stand in a different area of the boat. Because I'm legitimately having a problem understanding like what I'm doing wrong. Because I know I'm doing something wrong. Because it's all about lining up your perspective, and apparently my perspective is wrong. But, like, I'm on such a small area, you'd think I'd be able to figure this out. Get under that rock. There you go. We're going to get past this wall. Just looking for this connection, which I should be able to make this time. This should work. Come on, baby. Come on. This should work eventually. work eventually. It's getting dicey. Come on. Now. Now it should work. Go. Go. There we go. Thank you. 
It sounded like I, I deleted it. It made like psh noise. I gotta see something. I can't go back now. Okay. So th that seems like it's the correct way. Does it look like there's a way that I could go this way, then down, and then around? I'm just kind of like imagining. Can I get under this? Can I get under this rock? Probably can. I'm just kind of like down here, just like auto rotating. Do I have to do this again? Oh, I probably totally could get to that. I could probably totally get to that. Damn it, I'm probably gonna have to do this again. And that's gonna do it for this episode of Solving the Witness. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Plus Two Comedy Gaming so you can get a notification next time we decide to solve the witness.